Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Buffalo Sports Center video. I am Don. With me today is the co-founder of our Instagram, Cal. How are you doing today, Cal? Doing fantastic. How about you? I'm doing great, and I'm feeling even better knowing that the Buffalo city as a whole may be able to get an MOB franchise. This is only because, and this is mere speculation, there are no concrete rumors, just us speculating about potential fits. CBS recently tweeted out how the MLB is looking to go from 30 to 32 franchises in the league. Now, Buffalo was very close to getting a franchise back in the late 90s when the Bison were at their peak, arguably. Cal, do you think it could happen again where the Buffalo Bisons become an MLB team? Um, currently right now, I'm going to go on the no side of that. Um, I just think there's a lot more cities at the top of the list. I think a lot of uh, plans and accommodations would have to fall through for Buffalo to even be considered. But it's definitely fun thinking about, and it could definitely happen because obviously, as we know, you know, Salem Field, the home of the Bisons, was originally built to hold an MLB size capacity. The top was, you know, supposed to be able to kind of come off and you were able to build that third deck off that. But as, as we know, that never happened. It ended up being, you know, triple A ballpark for all of its time and still one of, you know, one of the nicest triple A parks, one of the biggest ones, but it definitely couldn't hold an MLB size uh, capacity or hold an MLB game besides what we saw from the Toronto Blue Jays. So, But do you think that, well, actually, let's let's talk about some of the cities that Buffalo could potentially have to beat out. Now, who do you think, which cities would be at the top of the MLB's list when it comes to relocation or expansion? I'd say number one, hands down, would be Las Vegas. Obviously, all the sports leagues seem to want to hit Las Vegas. You know, we saw it with the Raiders. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of money to be made in Vegas. We saw it, you know, with the Golden Knights and the NHL. Uh, all huge fan bases. Um, I don't know why they didn't do it earlier, and I think that's at the top of their list. Then there's some smaller cities like Portland could definitely get a team. San Antonio, I think, would be high on their list. And then also bringing back the Expos in Montreal, I think that could be a, a neat idea that they could have. But definitely Las Vegas, I think, hands down number one. And of all those teams currently in the MOB right now, would there even be a potential option for relocation to Buffalo or to Portland, San Antonio, or any of these other cities that you mentioned? I think right now the the prime example of a team that might get relocated is the Oakland Athletics. Their, their, their fans have not been showing up to games, and mainly because their stadium is a pile of you-know-what. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, obviously, the Raiders used to play there when they were in Oakland, and they shared the stadium, mm -hmm. and it, it, it was a very odd situation. You, know, you really don't see that anymore with, with a MLB team and NFL team sharing a stadium. I remember the Raiders games where the infield dirt was still at midfield. It was like, like kind of disgusting yeah. to be honest. And it's not really built to be an MLB stadium. So with that being said, and the fact that the place is kind of falling apart and the fact that they're maybe getting 3000 to 7,000 fans in there a night, which is pathetic. Um, I think they're at the top of the list to get relocated. I know they are trying to, you know, make some plans to build a new stadium, possibly stay in that, Bay Area, you know, because obviously we saw Golden State Warriors get a new stadium and stuff like that. So there is there is hope for Oakland, but I, I think they do end up getting moved sooner why, than later. Why does it seem like in every sports league, Oakland gets shafted so hard? It happened with the Raiders not once, but twice. It happened with the Golden State Warriors. They're not even in Oakland anymore. They moved Then they moved their stadium across to San Francisco. Yeah, side? San Francisco. Yep. Yeah. So Oakland just doesn't seem to be able to catch a break recently. And I mean, the city, it's not particularly great. I can't, I don't want to, I'm going to mince my words here, but Oakland is in rough shape financially right now. I was reading up on some of their crises going on over there, and it's not great. And it's certainly not attractive for any professional sports team to be at. Now, if something like this were to happen what give, give me a rough percentage here rough percentage that a team eventually does come to buffalo right now rough percentage i'd say maybe five percent right now <laughs> i i honestly i honestly can't see it happening in the near future just because the sheer amount of effort it would take to put a team in the buffalo we already have a triple a team you'd have to sort that all out 
Plus, Buffalo already has two professional sports teams, and a lot of people in Buffalo are Yankees fans, Blue Jays fans, Red Sox, Mets, that area, Pittsburgh. It would take a lot to get them just to leave all their fandom of that team and invest into a brand new expansion team in Buffalo. So personally, as a Mets fan, I, I could definitely see myself transitioning to a Buffalo fan, but I don't think I could leave my Mets fandom in the past, too. So you'd get a lot of double fandoms where you wouldn't have a full commit to a team, whereas you go to a place like Las Vegas that doesn't have, um, you know, really close teams, I guess you could say that has a brand new fan base of sports fans in the area, I definitely think you could get a bigger draw from a place like Las Vegas or a bigger city than a place like Buffalo. Yeah, but there are some positives to moving MLB to Buffalo, including that while they don't have a large stadium, a good enough stadium right now for MLB standards, they do have a decent location for it. It's right in the center of downtown Buffalo. You could easily expand uh, the north upper deck probably to another third level. I'm sure that's what you were referencing earlier. You could definitely also put some more stands over by the south end of the stadium as well. That could easily get you two to 3,000 more people. And you mentioned already... Buffalo has one of the largest and nicest AAA ballparks in the game. So, with that being noted, it is possible for Buffalo to be able to transition to the big league. I think it could, but it would take a lot of effort and time. And I'm not sure that Western New York would want to pay for an expansion of another stadium. We're already seeing the Bills stadium getting revamped and becoming a new thing across the street from its current location. That's a couple billion right there. And uh, it would certainly be very expensive to expand the current Salins field. But they already have the basic infrastructure there. But there also is another negative thing about bringing uh, baseball to Buffalo. And it's that it's so close. We are already so close to Toronto and all the New York teams. You want to expand a little bit on that? Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, like leaving your fandom from a team that you've been like a diehard fan. I know a lot of people near near where I live and you as well, um, are huge Yankee fans, Blue Jays fans, Mets fans. Um, you could even go into Pirates fans. So, you know, I, I can't see those type of people just, you know, one day saying, all right, I've, you know, everything I've poured my heart into with the, for example, say Yankees for the last 20 some years, I'm just going to throw out. And, you know, we're, we're big Buffalo fans now say they're, you know, called the Buffalo Braves or whatever. Well, couldn't do that with the Atlanta Braves, but We'll say something like that. Um, another point that you brought up at the stadium, we saw Salem Field can hold an MLB team for a little bit, a short period of time. I don't think that stadium could really get transformed into an MLB ready stadium. I think you'd have to build a completely new stadium long term, but short term, you could definitely put a few more seats on, add some outfield seating, you know, maybe for a two to three year process, maybe even five years to build like a brand new stadium somewhere, maybe where that Bills stadium was going to go downtown. <laughs> Definitely a lot of thinking and thought process would have to go into this. I don't really see it happening, but if it did, it would be fun. And I'm not saying I don't want it. I'm just saying I don't really see it happening. What yeah. about you? No, I, I, I think it's more likely than not that the MOB Manfred, the commissioner, bad, big bad commissioner, goes to two more higher profile cities. Buffalo is one of the smaller cities in North America, so it would be a very big ask. And a long time ago, you did mention how we already have two professional teams in Buffalo. And he could look at that and say, well, that city may already be saturated of sports fandom. So you, you have your positives and you have some negatives with it. But it's certainly a fun thought. And if it did happen, it would be great, I think. It would be uh, uh, fun to go from a baseball game later that night to a Sabres game. Just walk down uh, Pearl Street there. But... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Tell us in the comment section, do you think Buffalo could get an MLB team someday? I was Don. This was Cal. This is Buffalo Sports Center. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and see you on the next video. Peace out.